CD Key Offers is the best place on the internet right now to get Windows OEM keys, new games, and essential software keys, all for a really great value. A Windows 10 Pro OEM key is on sale right now, and once purchased, CD Key Offers will send you the key in which you can then use to activate your Windows software. And don't forget, you can use TNO20 to receive a 20% discount on your purchase. Visit cdkeyoffers.com to get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to Technuovo. My name's Steph and today we are following on from our previous OBS tutorial where we looked at incorporating multiple cameras into one live stream feed. And we're going to be moving forward with that idea and also incorporating gameplay into those streams as well. There were a few comments in uh, the comment section of that video of people asking how this can be done. So we thought, why not just make a tutorial of it? So we came up with this idea because we've been playing Grand Theft Auto 5 online quite quite a bit actually over on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Technoovo. Better get the plug in there now. And um, there are loads of times where you have to split up during the heists that we've been playing through. And two of you do one part of the mission, another two do another part of the mission. And we thought that there's so much on stream that is being missed out on by the people who watch our streams that we thought, why not just try and incorporate everyone's gameplay all together and stream it all at the same time so you can get a feel of what's going on in the different areas of the map during the missions. So we think that we've come up with a fairly simple way of being able to do that. And all you're going to need is uh, a copy of OBS or even Streamlabs if you're favorable of Streamlabs and also Discord as well. So without further ado, let's just jump into the tutorial. So now we're in OBS Studio, you can do exactly the same thing and follow along in Streamlabs. It's exactly the same way to set it up, but I'm just favorable of OBS Studio. So on the left hand side, you can see my scenes. I'm on my camera only scene at the moment, which is what you can see. So I'm going to start a new scene and I've already called it split game tutorial. So there you go. You've got a blank scene with no sources inside. Now, what I like to do first is I like to create some kind of overlay so I can then visualize what I'm laying out onto the screen. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new image. I'm going to call it overlay and then I'm going to pick it out on my PC. Now, I've already got a Twitch and Mixer. Well, remember Mixer doesn't exist anymore, of course, but uh, but uh, it did at the time and we use these layouts for Mixer as well. But I've got a already made up template. I made this myself inside of Photoshop. Now don't at me on the, uh, the basic design. It is just a very basic design that I threw together for this tutorial. And there we go. We've got our overlay. So that's going to stay at the top and everything else is going to start going in underneath. So first off, I like to do the cameras. So for me, because I'm using a HD60 capture card, an Elgato capture card in my desktop and my Sony camera plugged into that, I'm going to pull in a video capture device. And I've already got uh, an existing capture device inside of OBS, the Elgato from my Sony camera. And there you go. There I am. Resize this, bring it down to the window that you want to bring it down to like so stick it underneath the overlay and there you go you are nice and inside so if you want to make it a little bit bigger make it smaller then you've got that option as well so the next step is to bring in my game capture so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit the plus button for a new source i'm going to go to game capture which is there i'm going to add a new game capture uh tutorial game capture create a new layer capture from a specific window and the window i'm going to choose is black ops cold war which i've got open at the moment so it's going to automatically uh default to opening in a full screen window but what you can do like we did with the camera is just shrink it down until your gameplay is roughly in the frame again i'm going to put that underneath the uh overlay at the bottom and then that way, wherever you size it, it is underneath the overlay. You don't have to be super accurate if you don't want to. And you can hold down the control button on your keyboard to smooth out the movements. But there, I think, is completely fine. So now we've got my camera and we've got my multiplayer gameplay up there. So now we need to bring in Nick. And for that to work, we need to open Discord, which I have open here. And as you can see, you've got Nick's gameplay and you've got Nick's webcam. So I have to then isolate the two to get them into the different frames that I've built on my template. If we hop back over to OBS, I'm just gonna move this Discord window to my second monitor so it's out the way. 
And what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to capture a window. So I'm going to go to window capture. I'm going to go to uh, to tutorial Discord. Let's call this layer. I'm going to add it, and it all it has automatically detected my Discord here. But as you can see, you can find it from the drop down list under window. So there you go. I've captured the Discord window, and it's opened on most of my preview window. So the next step is I'm going to need to isolate the two. So first off, I'm going to select the gameplay. So I'm going to shrink down and I'm holding down the alt key so you can crop into the actual source. Holding down the alt key, click one of the tabs and you can move it into position. Now, the only problem that you're going to find if you use Discord is you're going to see the volume here and you're going to see that they're live. But is that a problem? Not really. Not enough to bother me anyway. And again, you're going to need to move it into position by holding down the control key, making sure everything lines up. And I'm going to stick that under my overlay so it's nice. It's nicely within the frame. Like so. Again, does it need to be perfect? Not particularly. But there you go. That is two separate sources for gameplay. And now. I need the camera. So I'm going to go into capture the window again, and you're going to have to have to capture the discord window. Now this can be done just for one person, for two people, three people. It's, it's pretty much a rinse and repeat exercise if you want more than uh, one person's gameplay. So let's call this uh, tutorial discord cam. Click OK, and it's going to capture discord again. Uh, and then just rinse and repeat. Hold down the Alt key, grab it at the corner, crop it down into position, resize it so it fits within the window that you have made and move it down underneath the uh, overlay source so it's nice within the frame. So there you go. That is two cameras, two gameplays on one stream. Now what you'd again will need to do if I just run through my settings quickly if I go to my output for streaming I'm using the uh, Nvidia NVENCH.264 new uh, I've got a rate control uh, constant bit rate and my bit rate is set to 6000 um, preset quality profile high um, psycho visual tuning ticked GPU at zero max B frames two that seems to work for me I'm not sure, depending on the hardware that you've got in your machine, just to run through mine, I've got a Ryzen 3800X processor. I've got an RTX 2070, a Gigabyte RTX 2070 in my machine. So it's not the fastest PC in the world. And this has suited me down to a T, really. So uh, that is pretty much it. Now, the only other thing you're going to need to do, depending on your computer, with me, I'm using a... Uh, go XLR mini so I have to bring in some audio now I'm not going to run through setting up a go XLR in this tutorial because uh, that will just increase this video exponentially but all, all I need to do is go to audio input capture I need to bring in my broadcast stream mix and there you go you can see all of the audio is coming from my broadcast stream mix and then I control everything with my my go XLR mini but that will definitely be for another tutorial i think uh setting up audio because there are so many different ways you can do it if you're plugging directly into your computer or you've got uh, an audio interface like a the behringer behringer umc1 or something like that is a very popular one focus uh, focus right focus something scarlet is another one so yeah there are many different options to choose from but from a streaming perspective you are all ready to go that is it all job done what we're going to do quickly is just show you an example now of what that actually looks like when you are going to be streaming to twitch or facebook or wherever you stream to now and if there was they've gone now very quiet behind us behind us going up the escalator cool 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 Oh, your friend. <laughs> That's not going in the video. <laughs> Do 
doing up there? So just to show you that it is completely possible, here is just a very quick snippet of myself playing with three friends on Rainbow Six Siege. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mate, we shoot you, Colin. I'm in servers, it looks like, or security. That was well close to me. They're coming in by me. So there are a couple of issues I wanted to point out if you were to set up your stream this way. Now, the first one is that you can only hear your gameplay, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because if you did hear all four gameplay at once, then it can become very messy. Now, there are ways inside of OBS that you can put audio delays on so you can sync up everything happening at once. I haven't run through this. I don't set it up myself. I've only got an audio delay on my microphone to the video. And as you can probably see by this, video it's not the most accurate thing in the world i've got to really fine tune it and number two is dependent on the people you are streaming with and the quality that they can stream depending on their pc and their um internet speeds how they can stream to discord for you to capture as you notice one of the players during the siege clip was dropping frames a little bit on their stream which does show up unfortunately on your stream it's still a nice way to showcase everyone playing the game at once together from all different perspectives but just bear that in mind as well that it's got to be that you are depending on the quality of their stream to uh discord so there we go that's the tutorial for you thank you very very much for watching if you did enjoy this tutorial click that thumb button for us it helps out a lot also subscribe to keep up with our latest tech gaming tutorials and just general content on the youtube channel um, it'll be great to have you and also let us know in the comments below if you found this tutorial helpful how we could have improved we'd love hearing feedback especially for these tutorials because we are still quite new to them especially in OBS because uh, we've done one tutorial we did relatively well and uh, we thought we'd follow it up with this so please let us know your feedback in the comments down below with that said thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video